So we're here with the new iPad Air that does uh, USB-C and support for the Apple Pencil, which we have right here. Should be actually charging. Oops. It's hard to get on to charge when it's on the stand, but sorry, I'm not I zoomed in. There we go. When it's on the stand, it's hard to get it to charge. It took a second. But basically what we bought is the USB to lightning or USB USB-C to USB adapter and then have a USB cable going into our Pioneer DDJ SX3. Now the DJ app, if I bring it up, as you can see supports two decks, even though this is a four deck controller. It doesn't matter what you do to them, it doesn't do anything. Unless like you had like deck three, like I have deck three set to I'll zoom in even more. So deck three is this one is set to mic one. And then everything else is set to deck A, deck A, deck A. And the cables no, there's no more decks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom up. So we do get it working though. It is basic, and I will play a couple seconds of the song. A lot of features do work, like this uh, needle scrub right here is it is working. Boom! Right to the end of the song, back to the beginning, and in the middle. And here's Siri here, play, and I bring the last up. We all know what song that is, you don't need to hear it, and we don't need to get demonetized. Even though we probably will, it's YouTube. It's the same thing on this side. Uh, bring the crossfader up. And here's what it looks like. So there's a hot key right there. I uh, just said, I don't know if you read that. Now I have not tried things like whole slicer or sampler, so let's try a sampler. Okay, you can always make a beat, but not really. Whatever. Those effects work well too. A lot of the effects actually work. Um, I have not tried the key up and down, the key sync or whatever you call it. Yep. So that works. This is definitely not going to be monetized anymore. There's so much mainstream music being played. It will definitely pick up one of these tracks, probably Roses, but, uh, you know, that's how you get your, any controller that is supported by DJ app, even if it's not supported, like, the SX3 is not supported, but the SX2 is, and if I go into the settings here really quick, it shows up as an SX3 in general. Uh, no, it's not in general. It's in MIDI devices. So, we'll go over there. It's in MIDI. Pioneer DTJ SX3. And it's got all the mappings done. And anything that's not mapped, I can map myself. I feel bad for people using Bluetooth. Uh, low energy MIDI devices, so much latency. I know people, I have friends that used to use that shit, and it is just terrible. Okay, so that's basically the DJ app right there. It's quite simple. Um, you can change it from waveform to equalizer. 
so that you can see where your filters are moving. See how we can zoom, zoom in right there. You can see your filter, what percentage it's at, and go back here and get back to, if we zoom out a little bit, back to regular fader view. Fader. Fader view is extremely low latency, like extremely low latency. It's this I, new iPad is very fast. So yeah, that wraps that up. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for a video how to connect your professional controller to a uh, Black Magic. Uh, A10 Mini, which is a video we had coming up, which should be pretty popular. Also, how to connect um, wireless handheld microphones to an A10 Mini, and also um, how to connect a lavalier, a wireless lavalier, to an A10 Mini, which is the same procedure as uh, connecting the the lavalier directly to the A10. So we'll go over all those videos one by one in the series.